going on to you Taurus how y'all doing so look um, there's a link in the comment section below called a link true link click on it it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel so I can most definitely keep the channel going um, I also want to go ahead and say smash the like button right uh, down below that where you can get more in tune to the energy of the reading and not only that but it also most definitely helps out the channel so let's get into it for you Taurus um, so you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Nine of Cups. Yes, I know this is a new deck of cards. Yep. Told y'all. I said in the next couple of weeks, y'all are going to see it. So look. Right. Look. So for you, Taurus. I'm seeing that a lot of you, Taurus, have way more to look forward to because... Um, some of you Taurus may have some people who want you around. They like you. Just like that. They want to go out with you. They want to start hanging out. And the reason why it is I'm saying that is because the Wheel of Fortune. Finally being able to actually get out of one particular situation of having a dry spell. Maybe the quality of the people that you've been getting to know is not necessarily up to where it is that you want it to be. In other words... They're not really quite being direct about what it is that they want. And they're not they're not putting in any kind of effort, right? So I can imagine how frustrating that is, right? I can imagine how frustrating that is. So the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, right, is about how slowly a lot of you, Taurus, are beginning to see a change that things are going from not uh, having things the way that you want it to be, right? From two, 2022, right? 2022 was, some, was a year that you, Taurus, really had it bad, right? Or it was rough. And then now in 2023, you're starting to see certain things change. And then now we're in 2024, you're starting to see things change even more for your benefit. You're having a lot more people actually want to put in an effort towards getting to know you. And like it is I said before, a lot of you Taurus have been glowing up in the first place. You've been doing your thing, taking care of yourselves. Right? A lot of times Taurus, a lot of times Taurus be overweight. But it's not to say that Taurus is not a uh Taurus is not unattractive. You Taurus are very much so attractive. So a lot of you Taurus started to realize that you need to pay attention to yourself, care about yourself a little bit more. And that's exactly what it is that you did. Because now the sun, you have the sun and the lovers. The sun card and the lovers represents now you're getting options. You, you have more people that are coming to you and letting you know that they are romantically interested in you, right? They're calling you, they're trying to ask you out, they're approaching you, they're trying to find out what's up with you. So now a lot of you, a lot of you Taurus actually have the option to say yes or no to that. You have more options. You just have to be able to pick the right one now for you because the four of pentacles represents you wanna actually take your time to really find that out. And yes and no, you're on the right track. And what I mean when I say that you Taurus are on the right track, I'm talking about how you want to see how this person is. You want to fill this person out, right? You don't necessarily want to call this person your significant other so soon. Yes, you want to date them, but at the same time, you really do want to just get to know them. You're not. It's not anything where it's like you're setting anything too much in stone, right? The relationship is built over the course of time, over years. It's not built, you know, in a day. It's not built in a few months, right? Yes, you can say that y'all have a relationship, but to really span that out and to grow one and to expand a relationship, it takes years. So the Six of Wands represents, so right now, if you Taurus have anybody in your life right now that's giving you a hard time, anybody at all, you may want to go ahead and leave them alone because the situation for you Taurus is that you have to clear. It's it's like a it's like a forest that needs a little bit of clearing. The sun can start a fire in that forest 
just to clear the way because if a forest is too dense with trees, it'll stifle the forest. Same thing when it comes to you and your life. If you have dysfunctional people, and it's ironic because it has a tree on it, but <laughs> if, if you have dysfunctional people in your life, all they're going to do is actually come around and try to muddy the waters or, or kind of dirty Mac what it is that you've got going on. They'll tell the person, right? They'll find ways to, to annoy you, get on your nerves. You know what I mean? Like, like, like for instance, those types of situations where on both sides, where you'll have someone and you'll try to like ask, you'll try to be like, Hey, you want to go, go to a movies with me and stuff like this. And then, and then they'll be like, buzz off basically. And you'll be like, all right, I'll go talk to somebody else. You go talk to somebody else and the other person says, yes, for sure. They would like to go with you. And then the next thing you know, <laughs> you see this per same day, you see this person coming out of the movie theater. Excuse me, you coming out of the movie theater. Y'all are having fun, laughing, enjoying yourselves because of what happened in the movie. And then you, excuse me, and then you, Taurus, end up actually seeing this person that told you no, walking in with a it's like, what are they walking in with somebody else? And it's like, what are they doing? Why do they have to come to your movie theater? You know what I mean? And it's not yours, but I mean from the perspective of like the movie theater in particular that you chose. Why do they have to come to that one in particular? Right? And the thing about it is that the Six of Wands is about you, Taurus, understanding that you have to feel them out. But like, don't tolerate their nonsense is what it is that I'm trying to say. If you, it, you know, anybody that's in your life right now that was wasting your time, you got to clear the forest because you have brand new people coming into your life. You want to make sure that you are available. So the seven of pentacles represents you again, piggybacking off of what I just said. You want to make sure that you're available because you don't want to, you, you know, all this plan hard to get type stuff. And, and, I, and I can already tell you're going to have some people who are going to be talking about how it is that you get no dates. I just had I just had someone ask me out a few days ago. Factually. So. Um, right. So <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles represents piggybacking off of what I just said. You, Taurus, just have to make sure that you want to clear that forest. You want to make sure that your life is clear of drama because that way you, Taurus, are actually able to have a brand new person come in and you won't have to deal with the emotional baggage as well as the person that you won't say goodbye to uh, periodically coming around trying to elbow their way into your life. That way, you and the person that you are building something with can actually afford to grow. It can work. Page of Wands and the uh, Ten of Wands is all about how you, Taurus, also have to understand that you want this person to be like that too. But you have to be fresh and what i mean when i say fresh the page of wands pages are are usually people who are apprentices so they are learning how to do whatever it is that they are seeking again right so the same thing that goes for you in relationships you taurus have to be open-minded the way that you was you have people who you know get to a certain age and then they become very wrathful they want to be they want to lash out or whatnot and stuff like this, you know, because they see certain things happening and they have to learn to heal from their trauma, right? Page of Wands is about you, Taurus. It's it's the lesson that it's trying to tell you, saying it. You want to be like, you want to be like a youngster again, you know? You want to be like a teenager again, like how it is that y'all had, you know, relationships in high school, how it would feel so good because... Mm -hmm. You know, y'all didn't really have a whole lot of crazy stuff like bills and all this other type of stuff. Generally speaking, y'all ain't really have to think about that. All y'all had to do is think about getting good, good grades and having like a, a little person on the side or whatnot. But point is, 
That's how it is that you Taurus want to be. This is all in the name of being emotionally open, right? And like it is, I said before, pain, love and pain are in the same vein. Is there a chance that you can get your heart broken? Absolutely. But at the same time, what will what a hundred percent will get your heart broken, right? You know, you're not just taking a chance. Then what a hundred percent will get your heart broken is you telling them, is you telling some people, hey, what's going on with you? X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And start and start wilding and acting out and stuff like this. That will get your heart broken. And the reason why it'll get your heart broken is because you're not open for, for love. The person, it'll just turn the person off. You know, I, I remember one time because I did that. You know, so I'm speaking from, like I said before, speaking from personal experience. And I'm able to actually learn from my mistakes as I go on where it is that, what it is that I did wrong. The Ten of Wands now is about how, because you, Taurus, deserve better. But the thing about it is, y'all just have to start living up to your potential. Now, obviously, potential is limitless, but you have to live up to your potential nonetheless. The Ten of Wands represents don't, you know, run away from relationships. Don't get scared. Face it. You are attractive. People are going to want to get to know you. So the best thing for you to do is to learn how to exist within them. That way you could raise your value because what raises another person's value as well, regardless of whether they are single or in their relate or in a relationship, is what type of person they are. If they're in a relationship, if the relationship is a is a functional working one, that raises their value. But likewise, if you're single, and it depends on why you're single, raises your value, right? Sometimes, you know, in modern day era, it'll have you thinking that being um, single is being a loser. It's synonymous when that's not necessarily the truth. But sometimes you're single because a lot of times people are dysfunctional and you just don't, and you just sick and tired of, you know, of uh, like, you just, you, you just know the environment that you're living in. And you can see the entitlement and you don't want to have to, you you know what I mean? You don't want to have to deal with an indiv or individuals that tell you from their words that times are changing, but then at the same time, they still have this sense of entitlement to them where if they look at you, you need to feel like you're pressured now to go over there and talk to them, right? Since they're the, since they're the ones that like to talk so much and like to back talk and like to give you so much problems and issues and, all, and everything. And they're not really bringing in a whole lot of value. But then you still have to go over there and extend your hand and talk to them on either side because both sides do that nonsense. So let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Uh, the King of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, excuse me, that's the Knight of Wands, excuse me, and then the Three of Swords. I'm seeing that, um, I'm seeing that for you, Taurus, this person that has asked you out, trying to find out what's going on with you, some of these people that's asked you out, they very much so are in the same boat with you. So you don't really have to worry about it. And what I mean by that is the Nine of Wands is about you, Taurus, being heartbroken and like, not not severely, but like just being precautious about what if the person is really playing games with you. So the King of Cups is about you trying to see if they're really being for real with this thing and saying yes, just to see if they're gonna actually show up. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Swords represents they are going to show up. You probably already went out on a date with them already. If you haven't already, they are serious about trying to get to know you. They are. Because the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords, they're in the same boat. They know what it feels like to, you know, everyone goes through rejection. You know, only a person who's out of their mind tries to make it seem like they've never been rejected. That's a person who's not really doing too good. If they try to make everybody without exception gets rejected at some point. 
especially if they're out here putting themselves out here, they get rejected quite a lot. They're just not telling you the times that they got rejected is all. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Peace.